Hi everyone, this is Mita, and today I'd like to introduce my patient appointment scheduling tracker. Very easy to use. You can set it for any time interval, like 15 minutes, 30 minutes. It will automatically change the time slots. You can set it for any start time and any start date for any month. Plus, you can also use color-coded status indicators for each appointment tracking. So let's see how this works. Welcome to my brief demo of my patient appointment scheduling tracker. Uh, this is a very easy to use tracker and very useful. Uh, let's jump right in. Uh, this is the month of Jan. I have a scheduling sheet for each uh, month of the year. So you have the dates listed up here on the top each day of the month and all of the different time slots for each day. Uh, now say you want to set up a, an appointment for the 7th of Jan. Uh, for 8.30 a.m., you go to that particular box and you click on this automatic drop-down list of all your patients. Uh, select one name, say Sam Bernard. And over here to the left, you also have a visual indicator of the status of the um, appointment. So say the day before, someone had called him and had confirmed uh, the appointment. So we can select C for confirmation. And you see it's uh, highlighted in light green. Say he had not confirmed it, we can choose N, and this becomes like a light brown. Um, then you have this check mark to say, yes, the appointment was completed. Uh, this is if he had come in and the appointment was uh, done. We also have a star, which highlights in yellow to show that this patient has some special instructions. And if the patient did not show up, you can indicate that with this X mark. Uh, which highlights in light red. Next, we also have a O to indicate out of office. So this is very useful in case uh, the doctor or the technician is not going to be available for any time slot. Uh, you can go in and mark these ahead of time just to indicate that no appointments should be set up for these particular dates or times. To remove the information in any box, simply go to that cell and hit delete. Uh, you'll see everything gets cleared out. You can delete the patient name too if you like. Delete this to get the status out. Another very neat feature of this um, tracker is that you can have any start time for the month. So say here the start time is set at 8 a.m. Say you have a start time of 7 a.m. Just go in there and change it and immediately you'll notice that all the time slots have changed and it now starts from 7 a.m. Also, you can have any time interval. Right now, it's set for 30 minutes. Uh, so you can notice the time slots are 7, 7.30, 8, 8.30. You can go in and change it to any interval that you like. Say it's going to be 15 minutes. Type that in. And you'll see immediately the time slots have changed to 7, 7.15, 7.30, 7.45, and so on. You can even change the starting date for any month. Uh, say your office is going to be closed for the holidays or the doctor is going to be out. Uh, say you want to start from the 15th of Jan, just go in and change the date to the 15th of Jan as the starting date and you'll notice that the dates have all changed. It now starts from the 15th and so on. Then we have the patient information tab and over here is where you can enter all the pertinent information related to each patient. Uh, you have the patient names over here and these become the automatic drop down lists out in the appointment sheets. For example, let's say this is... And if you go into any sheet, um, you will see the name has been added, Harris Ford. Uh, you can also record the visit date, the date that uh, of the appointment, uh, the visit type. You have 15 types of visits that you can enter. You have 30 insurance company names that you can enter. You can enter the payment, um, the telephone number, email, any special instructions and notes. You can have an unlimited number of patients. Uh, simply go down to right before the sheet ends or anywhere in between and just highlight the number of rows you need and click insert and you are good to go. Uh, the settings tab is where you can enter the names of the different insurance companies and the different visit types. Simply go in and type in any name you would like to. Uh, similarly, for visit type, let's say consultation or whatever you would like to um, describe it as. 
You can also change the wording of all the different status indicators to whatever you would like it to be. Say for example over here we can put it in as appointment complete. Um, you can even change the characters over here. Like say this you can change to age or whatever else you would like. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, please do leave me your comments and questions below. I'll be leaving a link to the scheduling tracker in the description and comment section. I can also be reached at my website moneyusage.com. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll catch you on my next video.